Dear oh dear, it seems like the headlines are still hammering Harry, and I promise you that wasn't deliberate alliteration. With this headline saying Prince Harry and Meghan Markle warned of facing a big problem over the UK return. But has this headline missed the biggest problem of all? Let's get into it. So welcome back to the channel. So I like to look at these headlines from time to time because they keep bashing out this news. And in doing so, they keep bashing Harry, quite frankly. Now, a lot of this might be unfair, but some of it you might think, well, they have a point. So let's look at this headline to see whether or not we think they have a point together, shall we? So this says here, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle warned of facing a big problem over the UK return. Now, what is this big problem, you ask? Well, in short, this article speaks of their reputation or, or lack of or decline of their reputation in the UK as well as in the US, particularly in the run up to the Netflix release. So not even uh, when it was released, but in the run up to that release, their uh, reputation went downwards. Now, you might be familiar with a website called YouGov, which canvases the population and predominantly obviously in the UK. Um, I'm not overly familiar with how it works but I do know that they canvass for opinions and uh, in particular they focus on reputations and things like that and they have pages for uh, Prince Harry and talking about whether his reputation is going up or down and they have individual pages for each personality. Now based on the level of fame and then popularity, disliked by, it it does chalk up to be quite a harsh page, at least for those that are unpopular. And when talking about uh, each of them in line, um, it lit quite literally paints quite a damning picture of um, not just Prince Andrew is at the bottom because of the scandals that he'd been involved in, but um, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, with Meghan Markle being slightly less favourable, as it says in, in these uh, polls, than uh, Prince Harry. So this all in all is the big problem that this news headline is speaking of. But isn't the bigger problem over the potential of them coming back to the UK. Now, there is a, a lot of detail this article talks about, which I'll go into in a minute. But isn't the bigger problem as regards them coming back to the UK as to whether or not they'd be allowed to come back to the UK? Because it's not an absolute given. Now, it falls to question who would permit that to happen. Now, I am not a royal expert, despite me talking about these issues, because they're interesting. I am a member of the uh, British population. I'm a British citizen, and I like to talk about these things. And I know we have a lot of international viewers here, and we like to talk about these things. So uh, I do take an interest, but I'm not a uh, royal historian. I'm not a uh, royal expert. But my understanding is that it would fall to the monarch. So King Charles, effectively. Now, Presumably, there would be a series of panels and advisors and potentially committees and all sorts of other uh, input uh, factors to decide whether or not Prince Harry and Meghan Markle could indeed uh, return to royal working life in the UK. That's even assuming they wanted to. I'm not even sure that's really the case or whether it's just headlines drumming up ideas. Um, and of course, I, I dare say other members of the family, Prince William um, Princess Catherine surely would have some crucial input, uh, bearing in mind what's happened and what's gone before. So we look at this headline here and we look at um, what it has to say about them coming over or potentially coming over. And it points to one factor being, well, where are they going to stay? Because they were removed from Frogmore Cottage, where are they going to stay? And of course, it throws into question all of the arguments over security and everything else and who's paying for it. And obviously, if they did come back to royal roles in the UK, royal commentators have said, well, it's going to end up being the taxpayer that pays for all the security and everything else. And how is that going to look in the opinion polls? Because quite obviously, uh, their, if, if their reputation has gone down, as the polls suggest, then the general public is not going to be particularly happy about um, shelling out for the additional security. 
which is one of the big arguments over uh, his court cases as to whether it is the standard round the clock protection or the ad hoc provisions that we've been talking about in the in the recent cases which are still ongoing really so the uh, royal commentators here are saying that um king charles's hands would be tied as making them working rules again would crash with the public's unfavorable view now if we go back to this graph over here um i think you might expect to see that Prince William and Princess Catherine are at the top as the most favourable. And um, King Charles coming down in fourth here. I don't know if this is the most up-to-date version. This is from 2022. There may be a more up-to-date version. Um, but these, these polls and these articles here, this one in particular, illustrates the change in positive versus negative attitude uh, towards Prince Harry in the run-up to uh, Spare. And as I read somewhere as well, in the run-up to the Netflix series, that might have been in one of these articles. But as I say, the, these say the biggest problem is just their reputation. I might suggest that the bigger problem may be, even if they wanted to do that, and even if they cast public opinion to the side, I think the bigger problem would be, would they even be allowed to? Because surely they, they can't just decide that that's what they're going to do they would need permission they would need the blessing of the monarch to be able to do that and certainly i would expect the rest of the family if they were to come back as well um, now many of you might feel that it is it's it's right that they should be welcomed back many of you may not feel that um but i give you both options i know there are some people that do still support um prince harry and or Megan or both of them so potentially you you may support them you may not but there is a, another interesting point here which I actually have to credit uh Steph the alternate if you're not subscribed by the way she's doing swimmingly well on her channel and I will point you to a video that you can go and watch afterwards which is this one here because Steph brings on a lawyer to talk about the Pat Tillman award and whether or not harry is getting that award to somehow support his visa status very interesting discussion on this video i won't spoil it for you i will link it in the description below but when we come back to talk about the tillman award uh, espn and the epsi we look at the let's look first at the uh, pat tillman foundation if you're not familiar um, there's been quite the backlash of Prince Harry said to be getting this award when many people feel that it shouldn't go to Harry and it should go to someone else. Now, what you think on that is your own personal view. I'm not going to tell you what to think. I personally think that with the backlash against Prince Harry, with all of the media that he's put out recently in recent years, I think perhaps many people will feel that that is not the best approach, i.e. to give him this award. But when we look at the Pat Tillman Foundation website here, there is a post from the 26th of June um, talking about um, scholars, the uh, Tillman scholars for 2024, but nothing on here about Prince Harry. And even when we go to the EPSIs on uh, ESPN.com, we don't find Prince Harry jumping out at us here either. It's almost as though they don't really want it popping up prominently almost anywhere. And Sky News reports that, and this is one thing that does really irritate me, because with big corporates and local authorities and huge bodies with lots of organizational members and officers and influencers within the organization itself, when they make a decision that is then seen to be extremely unpopular, they very often will refuse to walk back that idea. And when they do do a walking back, they do a walking back in a way that is not admitting that they got something wrong. So, for example, sometimes they will try to dress something up as though that's not quite what we meant. And we did this for this reason, not that reason. But they don't actually acknowledge that the decision or whatever it was they did was wrong and walk it back that way and say, I'm sorry, guys, we got that one wrong. Uh, we understand we've listened to public feedback and we realize that wasn't a good idea. Most 
Most often they don't do that. And Sky News reports here, ESPN stands by the decision to honour Prince Harry with the Pat Tillman Award at the Epsys um, amid fierce backlash. Now, this is not just a bit of criticism. This has been a wide and fierce backlash with the petition with tens of thousands of signatories saying that they don't believe that he should receive this award. But yet it says ESPN is standing by its decision to bestow major sports award on Prince Harry, citing his uh, founding the Invictus Games Foundation. Now, I hear you in the comments with the arguments about uh, Harry's involvement with Invictus Games. There is a long history there. The official position on the Royal website is what it is, and so I will stick with that unless um, that is corrected. But I do hear that there's a lot of um, different understandings, let's put them, as to how that came about in the first place. But you understand that I do have to take a rather balanced view on that point because it is very close to the monarchy. However, all of that said and done, when we come to the uh, ESPNpressroom.com, uh, it does speak of the awards and it does reference Prince Harry to receive the Tillman Award. But this is the news press room. You don't find it on the Pat Tillman Foundation website under Media and Scholar News. Even I refresh that now, there is still nothing new there. Um, if I search for Harry, there is nothing about Prince Harry there. If I search for Duke in there, there's nothing about uh, Prince Harry, at least recently um, regarding this award in there. We're going back to 2016. So certainly nothing in their news section. And on their front page here either, nothing about Harry. So they are ostensibly not happy and not willing to promote this on the front page. Whether that is because he's not yet been given the award or whatever, I don't know. I don't know what the reason for that is. But likewise, on the ESPYs page on ESPN.com, uh, Harry doesn't appear anywhere there either. So all a bit strange. And I do believe Steph went over that as well in this video here. So go and check that one out as well. Um, has he lost the award? I don't think he has lost the award. I just think that they are somehow downplaying it a little bit because they know that there's been a fierce backlash. But as I say, it's the one thing that slightly irritates me in that when these, uh, if, if these companies indeed have decided that they've got something slightly wrong, we stand by the decision, but not really. We're not going to absolutely plaster it all over the website, but we'll stand by it and we're going to continue as we were. But all of these things are open to uh, personal opinion, all of which is uh, mine in this video. All of mine are personal opinions here based on what I'm looking at. The pages say what they say, and they give off the opinion that anyone can draw that opinion from those pages. You can draw your own opinions. You can draw different opinions. You can leave me your opinions and your thoughts and your comments in the box below. That's what this channel is for. For those of you that are wondering why I'm harping on about all this, and I'm normally talking about law, this is Black Belt Secrets, hence the new little jingle at the beginning. I coupled that together. Um, I know one or two of you have emailed me about it. Um, if you do want to come up with a better jingle for the beginning, let me know. If you don't like the jingle and you don't want a jingle, equally, let me know. Um, I kind of like it. It's a very simple jingle with just a couple of chords. I played it myself on my own piano and recorded it. So if you don't like it, then just let me know. No hard feelings. But if you do like it, then I'll leave it in. But either way, let me know what you think and make sure you go watch uh, Steph's videos because very interesting discussion there as well, especially with um, the lawyer coming on to talk about the potential impact and relevance with Harry's visa status, which is all a little bit obscure to say the least so far as the public's concerned. So take a look, let me know what you think, and I'll see you back here on Secrets for more secrets. Take care and see you soon.